Okay, ready? Action. Okay, I go by Zoe. Zoe Ray Artistry. All right, I am Zoe. Go by Zoe Ray Artistry. And All right, let's go. Action. Oh. <laughs> Action. All right, because now nah, I just need to get loose. I wish I had a glass of wine. they gift and what we can buy for Mother's Day for our mothers but I said you know what I'm gonna dedicate a video strictly to my single mothers because I'm a single mother um although her father is in her life you know but I still don't watch Hell, I don't know. and um, me and her father is no longer together they have a little bond I'm not gonna take away from his portion you know, they have a bond, he's around, and all that good stuff. But financially, I feel like he can do a little bit more. And this is why I'd say, I'm technically a single mom, okay? Um, it's not easy raising a kid. It's not easy at all. So us single mothers have to put on this cape, our hats, our gloves, our shoes, and hit the door running. I know people think baby mama the stereotype. We are stereotype because of, you know, our, I don't know. Like they, they stereotype us in so many ways from not the, not having us, or not having the child to see their, their father, not wanting the father to be around, which is all that is for. You know, people have their own experience. Um, I don't think we wake up and say, you know what? God make me a baby mother. We don't wake up and do that. Things just so happily to, to happen. We don't choose to be a baby mother or a child's mother. We don't, that's, that's not, I don't think that's in no one's heart. Um, we just have no other choice, you know? We just have no other choice. And we're gonna do what we're gonna do for our child, rather that's with or without you. And that's just the mentality we have to have when we have kids because we can't take them back. Like, they're, they're, they, they can't return. Like, they can't go back up us and say, no, God, we don't want to choose. We chose, we, 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 you know, we changed our minds. So we have no other choice. With that being said, I just want to take this time and big up all my baby mamas. Child's mother, mother of your child, however you want to, you know, tidy yourself. Because we work hard as individuals. You know, we get up, we sacrifice, we spend money we barely have. Some of us live in paycheck to paycheck, but we doing what's best for our children, our child. Um, we're giving them something that we never had and that's either, you know, a better life, um, speaking to them, loving them, giving them their vulnerable moments because we grew up on survival. I'm a 90s baby and back in the day, you know, in the 80s, had parents that was on drugs. My father was on drugs real bad. So it was just me and my mother. And I applaud my mother. Like she taught me so much growing up. She taught me how to be independent. She taught me how to make sure my credit is good. She taught me how to just make sure financially, you know, I'm set. And doing this with three kids, like she worked, always had two jobs to provide for us. Anytime we wanted something, she made sure we got it. You know, it seems like that. Like, back then we never, un you know, you don't understand some of the things that you go through, honestly, because we're little. We don't understand until you get older. You be like, damn, like, my mother really did a lot for me. She really did. One second, let me get over. My mama did a lot for me. And, um, you know, sometimes we took it as our mother was nagging, our mother was getting on our last nerves, she was being, 
you know, a little, as a word, that's your mama. But you know, at the end of the day, our mother loved us truly, and they did the best that they could with what they had, Mariah Curry. You know, they gave it to Mariah Curry, I'm gonna do what I got. You know, I'm gonna do the best that I could, what I got, whatever she said. But anywho, what is this car doing? Boy! Come on, y'all, because it's giving. Yes, so. I just wanted to tell you that if no one told you, you guys are doing a wonderful job. You hear me? Keep doing what you're doing. Keep sacrificing. Keep loving. Keep talking to your kids. Keep letting your kids know that at the end of the day, they got you. If they ain't got nobody else, they have you. And that's all we want for, for our children is just to grow up and say, Mom, thank you. Because my, my daughter, she came to me the other day and she said mom thank you you do so much for me and i just want to tell you thank you like you make sure i'm good you make sure i have the latest and greatest and i just want to say mom i appreciate you and i love you so for all my single mamas okay this goes out to all my baby mamas i love you cousin your cousin loves you and your cousin wants the best for you so keep winning, keep shining, keep working. Baby, don't let nobody stereotype you. Don't listen to the negative comments. You know, you do what you can do for you for them kids. You know, if that means you want to just take them kids out, outside for a park, you know, give them ice cream, whatever. You do whatever you got to do. Don't, don't, don't compare yourself to another mother. If another mother out here giving their kids designers, Listen, you give your kids the best you can give. If it, all you can get them kids is some Nikes or some Reebok, baby, get them kids some Nikes and some Reebok and dress it up real cute. Okay? Don't be sitting here trying to updo with the Joneses. No, you do what you can do. But the most important thing, the most important thing is that you showing them kids true love. That you are stirring them kids in the right direction. And so, like I said, I'm going to end this video by saying I love you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of us. We are doing what needs to be done. And it is what it is. As always, so loves you. Deuces. One more thing. Happy Mother's Day. Deuces.